Hello everyone, I'm Chuck Gordner from Money Man 4438 and today we're going to discuss my Profit Trailer Calculator version 6.5. Now you'll see here at the top it is the version 6.5 calculator that we are looking at in this video. So everything I'm able to do here, you're able to do in the calculator that you download from me. So there'll be no reason to call me and tell me this or that is not working. Because everything you need to be able to do in this calculator, you have access to. First thing you'll want to do is come down where it says Initial Bitcoin Deposit. And you're going to want to add up all of the prior Bitcoin that you've, you've uh, deposited into your exchange, into this area here. And then hit Enter. You do not have to change the Bitcoin price. It will refresh on its own during the, the uh, course of using the calculator. You're going to notice little circles going on. That's the calculator refreshing. You change the UTC time difference based on the, your time difference. So if it was 8, you would just put an 8 there and hit enter. You do not have to change any of this. BTC, there's a Bitcoin calculator here. This used to be in US dollars because I highlighted this whole column uh, and made it currency because of what was necessary here. Didn't realize it affected this, so it's been corrected now. Now you can put in here the Bitcoin that you might want to determine. We'll say maybe you don't want that, you want 0.03, which is the cost of profit trailer. So in today's world, with Bitcoin being 11, thousand sixty dollars and forty six cents this profit trailer calculator will cost you three hundred and thirty one dollars and thirty and eighty one cents you're going to want to put the date that you actually started profit trailer in this section here I have a United States date your date might be different I don't know where you open the Excel calculator up it might have a different date format that you're using but for my purposes today's date is 1 27 2017 and then just hit enter when you do that it will place the date onto the profit trailer spreadsheet this column or I should say all the columns have descriptions all you have to do is click on them to see what that descriptions for there's also descriptions for the values that you see below here. It's nice to know the value of your Bitcoin as of today. Instead of having to scroll down through the calculator to today's date to find that out. Your total earnings from the profit trailer or profit trailer combined with profit trailer feeder will show up here and it will be again the value as of today now this figure changed because the Bitcoin figure changed up here again you do not have to try to change this if you do you're going to get this error message and you do not have to unprotect this sheet to do anything it is all driven by a few select cells here you have the deposits that you make into your exchange after purchasing Profit Trailer. Remember, you've already added up your deposits prior to Profit Trailer and placed them into this cell here. As you scroll down through the deposits, see there are none here at this moment there are no withdrawals in here at this moment this total deposits is your amount that you added up here when you add see the circle spinning that's Bitcoin being updated all right see a change when you add a new amount into your exchange because you want to increase the money that you're working with and you hit enter it will change your total deposits you can put that in here anywhere and when you
hit enter, again it changes. When you withdraw money from your exchange, you can place that in here. And it will tell you the dollar amount you just withdrew based on the current Bitcoin amount. Now this amount will change as the Bitcoin price changes. As we all know, every couple seconds it changes. There it goes again. This calculator is set up to change every one minute. To the far right of this calculator allows you to be able to see the amounts of money that you've earned in Profit Trailer by the year. This is 2017. The percentage that you've earned based on the amount of money that you've placed in here. The um, monthly and yearly profits in USD. That's coming into here. Your, your, your yearly, monthly and yearly withdrawals are coming into here. Here we have the month of, uh, what month was that? January and I've taken out $3,598.76 there and it was placed over here. This is the same setup for all of the years that are in here. All the way down to the year 2028. I'll be dead by then. Someone else could pick up the torch and hack my calculator and keep it going on from there. Once you place the date here, as I said here earlier, it's going to go over to your profit trailer spreadsheet and it's going to be placed right there. This calculator has been color coded. Now you can see by the week so that you can say, oh, these are my profits for this week. You don't have to kind of try to figure it out on your own. They've been color coded so that anything over zero is green. Everything over um, I don't know what is it, 0.01 Bitcoin is uh, yellow, anything over 0.05 Bitcoin is orange, any negative uh, profit, you had a bad day, you decided to uh, stop loss out, you lost money, is color coded red. This calculator used to have information in these, this area right here, actually it's used to be in this area right here, and it was confusing because it needed, it needed to be there to keep everything uh, formulating down the columns. I've now made them blank. So all zero amounts will now be blue. They'll, they're color-coded blue. In order to use the chart, you click on the white area of the chart, but first you have to add a new amount. Say today I earned 0.2 or a Bitcoin. That's going to be orange. It's telling you made a lot of money. Then you'll come over to this white area. It's going to highlight your. It's going to highlight your cell, your table here. You're going to come down and you're going to grab it with not the crosshairs because the crosshairs will just pull your whole table down. Again, Bitcoin is changing. This is why we see it spinning. So you're going to have to click that again. You want the the arrows. And then just pull that down, and now that amount will go over onto your calculator. We're looking at this on a big screen, that's kind of why it, but it's added today's date to 8. So you're going to be able to see your daily profit in Bitcoin and your total profit in Bitcoin with this chart. It's not a dynamic chart, you have to actually work it. You have to first add money your profit hit enter come over click the white space that's going to highlight your table you're going to grab the arrows pull it down come back to your chart and now you can see that it added the tenth this is how you'll use the chart and the spreadsheet. This particular sheet is not protected because I was not able to make this a dynamic range because there's information that's being pulled 
from other areas. So when I'm able to figure that out, I will password protect it. Until then, make sure you back up your calculator. Because if you make a mistake and you ruin the formulas, don't come to me. I'm a busy person. Back up your calculator. At the very least, you'll have to install a new calculator and just simply copy your data from one calculator to the other one. What I have added to this calculator is a DCA and cost affordability calculator that I found in a Discord channel. I don't know who it was made by, so I've got courtesy of someone here. I did not make this. I did find an error in the formula that was necessary to put in just your max cost, not your max cost using per percentage. So I corrected that formula, and this is now a working calculator. The way that you use this is very self-explanatory if you just simply read the directions. Enter your total Bitcoin. Now this, if you're using the calculator, is actually coming from the profit trailer sheet, cell C18. So let's go back there. Cell C18. So your total Bitcoin as of today is going to be reflected into the DCA and cost affordability calculator. You don't have to enter that. It's already going to be there for you if you've put all your history in. If you haven't put your history in, if you just want to see where to start, you can change this simply by typing in what you want and then hit enter. Now you determine how many DCA levels deep you want to be in order to reach the perfect number down here, zero. Well, it seems that four is pretty much the magic number for everything I've put in here because if we go back again it's still zero the number of pairs the magic number appears to be five and the magic number for your max cost percentage appears to be 1.25 but if you don't like to use percentage and you want to use max cost you would type in your max cost in the decimals. What if you you can see here that you need a total of one Bitcoin to have this work. So if you only had 0.05 that you started with, you can see that you're in a negative a little bit. Well, that's okay, you can correct this. Now you can't go too low with this max cost because then you won't have enough to buy with in your your exchanges and every exchange is different I believe I'm only in Bittrex so I've only heard that Binance is quite a bit more I think it was uh, something like 0 .0, um, 0 .022 or something like that but you can see how this changes so what that tells you is you have to lower one of these two numbers down. So if we go down to four, see how it starts to get lower. If we lower the DCA, it starts to come lower. So now you only need, you need 0.71 to do this. So what I tell the people who get this calculator who I work with is to start out with two pairs. and let it DCA three times actually you're, you still have some Bitcoin left so you could add a pair like three pair oh, that's going uh, farther into the hole so two pair is what I would stick with so this is how you work with this calculator I've added a second DCA affordability calculator that I also found but I don't use this calculator. I have not taken the time to study it. Uh, again, I believe I've put in here that this comes from, well, I didn't do that. Your available balance, you can type that in. I will probably correct this so that it actually comes from cell C18 off the profit trailer page, just like the other calculator does. And then you can change your max cost percentage that you want to keep in your balance 
without touching it just by changing this that's 50 percent maybe you want 40 percent you see how everything changes maybe you're not doing it by um, percentage maybe you want the max cost to be again 0.0125 There's a BTC history page here, just in case you want to see what Bitcoin was way back in July 17th of 2010. Who wouldn't have liked to get Bitcoin at 0.04951 and have it go up to uh, almost $20,000? There's a calculator instructions page. Watch the video. Don't ask me questions. I have a lot of things I do and I have very limited time. So if you watch the video, it answers all of your questions. This video will be changed that's in here. The calculator will be updated to version 6.6 .6 once this video is completed and put into YouTube. This is, video is also meant to show you how to use the sales log. I'm going to show you how I do this. Just recently I shut down my profit trailer in the middle of while it was doing a trade. When I started it back up, I lost that trade. So I went to Bittrex and got the information that I needed. And I placed it into the sales log using this method that I'm going to show you now. So the first thing you're going to need to do is be able to see your GUI. The next thing you're going to need to do, now how did I know I was missing that? I was at 775 and when I turned the profit trailer back on I was at 774 I had just been looking at uh, my DCA log and I knew that there was uh, something in there that was selling so I went to my Bittrex account and I clicked on orders and I scrolled down to see what order had just been completed so the next thing I did was went back to the sales log and I opened it up and I clicked on Excel that's downloading your sales log. Now you're able to open up that sales log and here are, is all of the information that's in your sales log. If you want to have history you download your sales log. The only way you're going to have this kind of history and not have it completely eliminated every two days, five days, seven days just go to Applications Properties and where it says Show History, you're going to make that 99999 or greater. You'll need to enable this spreadsheet by clicking Enable Editing. You're also going to need to enable the actual calculator because it will say the same thing. If you don't enable that, you'll not use the calculator. So now that I've pulled in the sales log, the next thing I'm going to do is click on this first cell come up here at the top and highlight all the way over to the number and copy it. Now I'm going to come down to column I and select the whole column. I'll do a control F and then click replace. I'm going to paste what I copied into here. I'm going to change these numbers to a shift 8 to get the asterisk sign and then I'm going to click replace all. What you've just done is remove the US dollar amount that's there because you don't want that when you're trying to figure your profit. The next thing I'm going to want to do is come over <clears throat> and separate these by date. So I'm going to drop down below the date, right click over in this row area and then hit control plus. That puts a space between these dates. I come down and I drop down below the, the date, control plus, drop down below the date, control plus, you get the idea. The next thing I do to, to keep these separated is I highlight this column and copy it. I come down then and I highlight this column and I paste that in using the first paste. I do the same thing to the next one. and the next one. Now you've got your dates separated. You see here I made a mistake and I've got the 25 in with the 24. This actually needs a separation. So control plus and then 
I'm going to have to highlight this again to get that back and copy it. Actually, it's updating Bitcoin right now. That's why it's spinning. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come down here, highlight this, and paste that. Now you can see that I've got the dates separated. And what I did to do it, and you can do that throughout your entire history. If you were informed in the beginning to show your history as 99999, I saw that in the Gob Ones video for keeping track of your entire history. Because I'm a person who wants to use this calculator to determine what it's doing for me, I'm into history. We're going to use this one single date as an example. If you didn't get your uh, amount, and, and I didn't, I'm missing an amount between 936 and 916. So on my own calculator, I've already corrected that amount. But you would have to go to Bittrex, and I don't know if I've got Bittrex up and running right now. Um, let's just bring it over. If you go to Bittrex and you click on orders and come down here to complete, missed was what I was missing on the 26th, and it sold at 11.38. So I basically copied this information from here. Not the, or excuse me, it sold at 1.33 on the 26th and I copy this information. I'm not going to touch this right now because if I do it probably will will log out and it will need to be logged back in. So just look at what's here. You'll put the date in the date column of your sales log. You're going to put the market uh, coin that you had in your sales log. You're going to put gain because that's what you use to sell it. You're going to put the bid price you know, the, or that you bought it with. You're going to put the bit, the price that you sold it with. You're going to put the amount that you purchased it for and the amount that you sold it for. And that's all going to go here. The date that you bought it with, the coin, gain, what price you bought it at, what price you sold it at. You can figure up your own profit just by using a calculator. If you just take this price and keep adding percentage to it, you'll finally end up with the amount on your calculator that reflects this cost right here. That will then tell you what percent you earned in profit on it. Now you're not really going to be able to figure out the trigger, what it triggered it, but you are able to figure out this profit. What you need to do is you need to take the bought price and subtract, or excuse me, you need to take the sold price and subtract the bought price over here. So if we come over here, let's let Bitcoin finish refreshing okay so now that Bitcoin's done refreshing we're gonna come down here to the single date because it's the easiest one to see and if you just do equals this cell minus this cell you don't even need a calculator it tells you that's your price and you can spread this open up here it tells you that your price is 0002715, but over here it was 27155. If you spread that a little wider and give it another decimal point, maybe it won't do it. There we go. You can see that it was 2715. Five, and so it rounded up and that's why this says 27156. So that's how you use the calculator to fill in a coin that you're missing. Now I had days when I shut the calculator off and it was, we'll say it was at 680 and when I turned it back on it was at 677 and I didn't really think to go into Bittrex and look at the recent coins that were missing from that date or I could have corrected uh, that at that moment but I chose not to worry about it <clears throat> excuse me now once you add that date in the amount that you've actually earned in profit that is showing on your GUI is not going to be the same what you're going to need to get that with is to come here and what I do is go above the bought above the the uh, information line here to this area 
and I click in here, and I do an equals, type SU for sum, I come down to sum and I double click it, then I come to column I, which is the profit, and I highlight that whole date amount. Then I do a shift zero to close the parentheses and hit enter. Now it's going to tell me how much money I actually earned in profit. If we went back to the GUI, let me get that up here. Where is that? Okay. And we go to the monitoring page. You're going to see that for yesterday it was 0.00426964. And if you go back to your spreadsheet and look at that, uh, 4271555. That's different. I found that a lot of times the amount that shows up on the GUI isn't the actual amount that you earned. So I've gone through and I've done this for all of my own um, sales page stuff. So this is how I use this calculator and I use the sales log in particular. Then I would take this information. You can't really copy it from here. It doesn't seem to work 100% uh, all the time. So I just write that figure down if you can't remember it or just shift back and forth and I'll take and remember 0042 7155 I'll come back to my regular calculator and go to the spreadsheet and type in 0.0042715 and then hit enter and that's how I use the sales log sheet to enter history that's missing from my profit trailer because you might not have gotten this calculator till you've already been several days or even weeks or maybe even months into having profit trailer work for you. If you haven't set up your history in the uh, application properties uh, sheet or page properly to 9999, you're not going to have any history. You'll have to just start with your history from the date that you're able to get it established. Now I use all of the profit and you can see I've you can't really see in this calculator because it's uh, it's the the uh, version I'm giving to people not my own personal calculator well I could actually bring that up let's do that because I'd like you to see the money that's there to be made using profit trailer and you can see how this is adding everything together <coughs> On the spreadsheet, I paid 0.03 for Profit Trailer and I paid 0.02 for Profit Trailer Feeder, so that's a total of 0.05. I've earned 0.83. I would say that I got my money's worth. And I purchased this on 11.23. So I've kept my history right from the very beginning. And you can see that on the chart, I had a spike. That spike was Profit Trailer selling nine bags that I was holding since June of last year when I got into some coins prior to the correction, as they called it, and had my money held up. I had $2,800 in at that time. After purchasing Profit Trailer, I dwindled in a little bit of money at a time with some deposits. You can see here that I put a a little bit of money in at a time. Again, Bitcoin's updating. That's why you see the circle. So there's no need to update it. Everything you need to use to work this calculator is accessible to you. There's absolutely no reason to contact me and say you want the password to my calculator. I will not give it out. I spend months of my life developing calculators. I don't give my work out for free to anyone. If you want to pay me, to have the password to this calculator, by all means, I will give you a Bitcoin wallet and you can leave me $15 in that Bitcoin wallet. And when I get that money, I will give you the password. But don't ask me for the password. It's my right to lock down my calculators as I see fit. Now again, I started to say I use all of my profits from this calculator to purchase TerraHash in a program called Swiss Gold Global because I need a second income. 
I need a third income. I need a fourth income. Everybody should be looking at multiple ways of earning money. So in Swiss Gold Global, I've earned a ton of money. I purchased all of these contracts from December with money from Profit Trailer. So there's 15 terahash. There's 15 terahash. There's 15 terahash. When these go active, they will earn me a considerable amount of money. If we use the trading calculator for Bitcoin or mining calculator, we change that to terahash, I will then have 75 terahash go active all totaled. And when I calculate that, that's earning me around $2,454 a month based on Bitcoin value of $11,000. When Bitcoin goes up to $20,000, as we know it's been, and I recalculate that, I'm earning $4,400 a month, all on that same amount that I had invested using profits from the Profit Trailer calculator. So I'm using Profit Trailer to actually, let me get here to the right place. I'm using Profit Trailer's profits to fund another passive income. I will have the links to Swiss Gold Global at the bottom of this video in the show more section if you should wish to check it out. I work with my team, help them along the way, make sure that they're all established and know what to do. So here we are back to the Profit Trailer Calculator version 6.5. I will have the updated version that will have this new video in it as version 6.6 .6 in my Facebook group, MoneyMan4438. You can also access in the Show More section below this video. There are several ways to contact me there. There is also a direct link to join my YouTube channel where I keep playlists on everything that I have uh, find valuable, both in marketing tools and everything else that is necessary to grow your business, along with videos on Swiss Gold Global or the Profit Trailer itself. With all this being said, I hope to see you on the money train.